Hello and welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. It is, uh, I'm sick. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sick. I know you like the sound of my beautiful voice. It's going to be a little bit grosser today. I know it's typically gross, but uh, I'm sick. I'm sick of this war. We're, Nick and I are on, on, uh, on the case right now. Mm-hmm. About this uh, situation in the Middle East, we've been monitoring it. I think for four days now. Yeah, um, we've have we have a war room set up. Uh, we got a lot of maps, kind of a lot of touch screen technology. I just want to know while this is going on, you know, like as soon as the attack happened, the Hamas, Hamas attack happened, uh-huh. and then everybody gets everybody gets a notification push to their phone. World War Three is starting. Yeah. Hunter Biden is immediately just, <laughs> just, just child on camera. He's got an iPhone 15 Pro and regular, just filming himself entering a baby. Yeah, he's like sending to his dad. He's like, "We're back in business. <laughs> Nobody can." He's that. making deals. Nobody's gonna fight. Yeah, nobody's. Yeah, he's the king of the he's world. He's blowing some Chinese guy for twenty five dollars and giving half of it to, to a, Biden. A business deal that his dad set up a twenty five dollar. Yeah, twenty five dollar blow, blow job, and then handing five dollars cash to Joe Biden. This is the diversion that Hunter Biden could need. Um, I hadn't thought of that angle. I started getting scared last night about what New York City. That evangelicals are right. Oh, yeah. Well, that, I mean, this is what they want, right? This yeah, is, well, I, I, I... Do you think you'd be invited into the kingdom of heaven? Well, you know the red cow thing? The red heifer, yeah. So they started bringing those cows over there in the 90s. The evangelicals were like, what's this cow thing for? And then the, <laughs> the Orthodox Jews that like also think that that's real, that the that they need to make the third temple. The temple in Jerusalem. And yeah. they need the, the cows to do it. They were like, well, these are good, but the cow has to be born here. So they import the cows and then breed them, trying to make the cows there. And I guess they finally did it, like, a month ago. And all this crap happened? Yeah, they need, I think they need 200 cows. And they need 20 cows or something so like that. So they have one now. I think they have more than that, but... Oh, God. I, I don't know. This is, it's I guess... It's not going to take a long time for it that. It needs to be a mature cow with, yeah... I thought you were saying you were getting scared. Um, my girlfriend's brother called frantically last night, uh-huh. and he said that some friend of his is some girl, and she knows a guy at the government. And he says that <laughs> I don't want to raise alarm, but Hamas is planning on nuking the New York City subway system. Oh, they have a nuke on Friday. Yeah, <laughs> this Friday Hamas will be. From what, from what this guy, this friend of his friends girl that he's you know someone the government says that there will be a hamas nuke on the sun no nuclear war starts in 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 pakistan india has to be i i that's the reason in, i bring india is india is going to nuke pakistan at some point i though. don't want to br- yeah i think it's probably going to be about this it's going to be about their, it's going to be about, about twitter the, yeah about them losing the meme war they're starting to pop off with the memes and the pakistanis are just wrecking the indians the pakistanis are, are, are going mean yeah India's like uh, doing like um, India's like I love you Israel I kiss you so much and the Pakistani guys are just like wow what a f-. and then drawing cartoons of them the one of the the Indian guy covered in poo like, yeah he's, using he's, his computer yeah I'm getting he's really, on the computer covered in poo I'm saying really I love into, Israel and the Pakistan memes yeah I mean I think that which is, is weird because you would we'll think that like because pa- Pakistan is sort of like the Israel of India. Why is that? Well, because it's like just a like a territory carved out based on nothing but like a religion. Well, I thought what it, didn't the British leave in the and there was a there that was was there a war? Yeah, they had a there war, was a war and Pakistan yeah. split off. Yeah. yeah, but but that would be like no India is like the Israel because they gave India the mandate. And yeah, then, but Indi- like India, there's aren't there like Sikhs live in India, right? They don't live in. They have like multiple different. Pakistan's Muslim, yeah. Yeah, they have different religions in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pakistan is the one where it's like, no, we want a Muslim state. We're all Muslim here. Yeah, yeah. I guess I don't think it's probably it's probably not analogous. Analogous. All right. Uh, yeah, but the other difference probably also is that Palestine is 
is not a country. They they haven't been granted. They don't have a right to vote. What does they that have to do? What does that have to do with India and Pakistan? Because Pakistan has you know military. They have. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Pakistan, Pakistan. You would think that Pakistanis would be on the side of Israel. Oh yeah. And they're not just because they're Muslim, I guess. I guess I think that's probably what it is: is that Hindu nationalists are on the side of mm -hmm. of Israel. Anyway, Those so, guys are so they'll get these cows and then they'll <laughs> they'll blow up that mosque and then build the third temple. Yeah. And then uh, I guess there's supposed to be like the the Orthodox Jews would believe, and then the Messiah comes, and then we have peace. Uh huh. But from my understanding, the evangelicals believe that their Messiah will be the Antichrist, and then there will be seven years of global thermonuclear war, mm -hmm. and then... Um, so right, we're pretty close. And then, yeah. And then Jesus Christ appears. Well, Jesus comes back, and he does battle with the Antichrist. Uh, that's going to be badass. And, uh, and the Antichrist teams up with uh, Gog and Magog. Who, <laughs> Who's that? I think they're they're, they're like two blind demons? Irish brothers. They're <laughs> from, from my understanding, they uh, don't sound very effective. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they come roses in the liver. Yeah, they come from the north, and uh, oh yeah, <laughs> man, evangelicals are. Stupid. <laughs> they're so dumb. Like imagine they have rock at church. Yeah. No, they're yeah. going off right now. They're like, please blow up that mosque and build a temple. Please build a temple. The dome of the rock. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, blow it up. Build so it's the temple. All, for them, it's all about Jerusalem. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, this is not the same place. Right. Yeah. But the the thinking goes if if this pops off, the what next would thing, Jesus reaction. what Jesus wants is for the Israel to ethnically cleanse the entire... Because, I mean, let, let's say, you know, how much... What do we got? Like, 48 more hours of Gaza? Um, you know... They're kind of ripping the Band-Aid off, I'd say. Give or take, yeah. Yeah. Um, once that's gone, I, I mean, how much of the West Bank is still even Palestinian? What do you mean? It's still mostly Palestinian, but they're they're uh, separated from one another. It's separated into kind of, I think, like 49 different basically zones that are like that are so how long know. is that gonna last another year we got, we got i don't know you're why are you trying to give the evangelicals their timetable right now because i like timetables <laughs> i like scheduling i don't know i don't know I mean, hopefully there's no well wars. let's say they they ethnically cleanse the entire let's say they they achieve like uh, what is the greater Israel plan, right? So it's 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 uh, the entirety. They take Syria to yeah, they, they call it a Shtei Gadot. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So yeah. the whole thing. What you think then they're gonna just oh well yeah you get to keep Jerusalem. Yeah, you get the little dome. Yeah, yeah. No, no they I, honestly, if you want to save lives, like really the 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 humanitarian response right now. Yeah, is just for twelve hours. Abandon the bombing in Gaza, blow up Al Aqsa Mosque, <laughs> no, build the third temple. Just build the third temple, burn the cows. <laughs> be like, okay, nothing. All right, All right we'll try yeah. again in a thousand years okay. until then everybody fill out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and that I would think... save millions of lives. Yeah, I I think that the Palestinians would still be kind of pissed off at Israel. And I think vice versa. Well, I think they'd still be pissed at each well, other. Well, you got to send Trump over there to, f to hammer it out. Trump's 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 taking shots at BP. Trump would solve this in twenty minutes. <laughs> twenty minutes. Trump Trump's like the only American politician that's read the tea leaves that after all the dust settles, the Israeli population is going to be like, "What the f did you let this happen?" Have you watched any of his like rallies? I've watched some of them. He has no power now, so it's great. So he's like, pretty much on fire. He just days. yeah, he's just shitting all over everyone. He's like, <laughs> yeah, Netanyahu, he blew it. <laughs> Lisa Lampanelli is here. <laughs> yeah, right. He's just uh, roasting he just the day. Yeah, right. He just gets to say everybody sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <She> <laughs> 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 oh my God, how many black guys has she had sex with? Yeah. No, I mean, I mean it though. They should just build that temple. 
You're really, you're really considering this angle. What are they? What are they? They saying these the evangelicals? They're going crazier than the Indian guys. Right yeah, now? well, because they want the temple built so that the Antichrist is born. Because as soon as the the temple is built, is the Antichrist born in the temple? What's that? Where is he born? I, he just shows up, I think. I he don't just know. shows up. Yeah, I think he's probably about thirty. He definitely has. What a, if it's you? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're the Antichrist? I mean, it'd be cool. Yeah. I, I would definitely start wearing leather jackets. Yeah. I think it would be like a more metal version it's of probably, me. It's probably, it's honestly, it's probably Zac Efron. You think it is? Yeah. He's doing his travel show. They have, they have an episode, the war, they blow up the, the they build the second temple, the war ends. <laughs> and then Zac Efron, the strike ends, <laughs> perfect timing, the strike ends, they bring back his travel show. He's like, we're going to Jerusalem to see this new temple yeah and then he shows up and like you know he did that episode on water and he's drank so much water now that he gets drunk off of it after that episode so oh. like oh my god he can turn water into alcohol yeah, yeah. this is the you know to, to the according to the an, an, uh, uh, evangelicals uh, the antichrist so the Antichrist has all the same powers as the Christ? I think so, yeah. He's like, well, he's sort of like a shadow, the hedgehog, the Sonic. So, like, everyone, wait, do, do people start thinking he's the real Christ? Is that an issue? He's I, doing all the tricks, and they're like, oh, my God, Zac Efron is the return of they have to Jesus do, of Nazareth. Yeah, they have to do battle, and then, uh, and then yeah. But the, the reason evangelicals want it is just <laughs> as soon as that temple is built, and the Antichrist shows up, then the rapture happens. So they all just get to go to heaven. And then they watch everyone die from heaven. From heaven. Yeah. That's so sick. Yeah, the NFL on Fox. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have Cletus playing electric guitar. Yeah. They have the, the robot uh, rocker guy. The Antichrist is definitely... I think it's Zac Efron. Yeah, and who's Gog and Magog? <laughs> I don't know. Regis and Kathy Lee. Yeah, probably. Um, today's episode is we have a new sponsor on the show. We really, really are excited about this one, We folks. haven't even opened the box yet. Ginsburg 3. Lucy. Lucy. You're, you might recall the feature film. Yes. Uh, so oh, what if goodness. a bitch gets smart? So Lucy is our new... Isn't that what the one where she's like, uh, she becomes a genius? Um, intelligently designed, this modern nicotine landscape can feel like the Wild West, but we're scientists, not cowboys. Made for your routine, whether you use nicotine to enhance focus, boost your energy, or relax, there's a Lucy perfect for you. Always tobacco-free. No matter how big the Lucy party gets, one thing's for certain, tobacco will never be on the guest so list. Let's see some of these. Okay, so, so they're, they're like... Uh, they're, I think they're gum, but we'll we'll crack one of these open. So some of them are pouches, though. They're like snooze. Yeah, okay. So we got capsule pouches. We got... These are pouches. Breakers. I we, think that... We the, are going to be hitting... I thought we were quitting. Nothing. We got Lucy keychains here. Oh, my God. And so breakers, so these are like... Um, hey, look at this. Uh, this seems like personalized for me. What does it say? If two men agree on everything, you may be sure that one of them is doing the thinking. But then it's got Lyndon Johnson's helicopter on there. That's pretty cool. Now I don't know if I don't know because you know they send us this stuff. That's I don't know. That's a sticker. It's a it's a packing label. So I, this is not something that comes in the box normally. I think they gave just for me because they know I'm a a Lyndon Johnson fan. That's pretty cool. That's nice of them. Um, All right, so... Okay, so, yeah. And then folks, this, this is a nice... this. Oh, it's a crew neck. Oh, my God. Sorry, you guys You guys sent too much other stuff that's good that we'll, we won't be able to get to the product for a minute. Nicotine for normal people. No freaks allowed. Yeah. So none of this Antichrist talk while you're wearing... While you're, yeah, uh, so we got the keychain here. On this crap. These are nice. This is a Hanes beefy that this is printed on. 
Ooh, that's a nice shirt. It is. And then the, the on the the back it says Breakers, and this is sort of like a gone in 60 seconds font. I like it. I'm I like feeling it. very 2002. That was a much better year to be alive than the the the, the, the hell, hell absolute hell world yeah, we live yeah. in now. Yeah, right after 9/11. Yeah, 9/11. Just and, good old fashioned Sikhs were And this were is embroidered. Attacked. I don't know if they sell this stuff or is this is just for the team. That's nice. Yeah, it's an embroidered that's Damn. nice. I wish we had merch like this. Well, we do. Look, actually. go to their website. Maybe they sell clothes. We do have embroidered merch. As as, as it stands. I'm, we will I'm be talking about that later on the show. More impressed by the... Okay, so this one's just the regular Lucy one. And then let's get the let's get the so these are so they have let's get it, let's get the copy out yeah um, go ahead and why don't you why don't you take a read through that and I'll go so through folks, the product so folks Lucy makes tobacco free nicotine for people who to focus better think deeper chill out smoother and inspire creativity increased alertness attention and mood focus better think deeper inspire creativity relax those are all the kind of you could do with it. Mm -hmm. So it's 100% pure tobacco-free nicotine. You'll never find a tobacco in any of their products. Um, Blue Sea pouches are available in five strengths, two to 12 milligrams, and 12 different flavors. So they got, let's see the flavors they got here. This, this is a... Uh, I think I did something wrong here. What is it? This, this, is one's blue. Just, this one's just mint, but... Apple ice. This one's apple ice. This one right here is mint. No, this one's mint. The I think I opened it wrong. This is mint. I'm holding mint. This says mint. Oh, these are breakers. Those Open are one of those other ones, because I think I just, I don't know how I did this, but... Look well, this. this, I mean, they, they make it hard because they were with kids, you know? Kids like us. Mango, look at this, mango. I think this is like a David Blaine thing here. All right, yeah, let's try one of the other ones. All right, so so here we go. So, um, folks. I just want to try one of these on the show. Whether you use eight, eight nicotine. Milligram. Eight milligrams is strong, it seems like. I, I selected when we did the pre. Um, yeah, I don't know how to open this. Let's see how. We'll try it. Let, let's pop one. Okay, I fucked it up too. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Lucy. We just can't wait to get to our Lucy. Yeah. This really, maybe this is how it is a good, like, uh, smoking cessation program. because You're you, just playing with a box. Yeah, you can't figure out how to open the box here. Okay, so there looks like a perforation. Okay, yes. Oh, I understand. So those the top Nick is for your um, discarded packets. Oh, oh, so you gotta take the sticker. Your off. snooze packets. Okay, this is probably this so. There's a perforation around the sticker. This probably makes sense if you d do the the packets, which I never pouches. do. Pouches. Yeah, the pouches. Let's, let's crack a couple more bad boys over here. All right. I don't know. I'm under the weather right now. I don't know how it's gonna respond. But you know what? There's war going on. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you put it in the top. So I guess that's probably... I put it... and then, Yeah, you dispose of them in the top so you're not tossing mm -hmm. them around town. Now, I've never done one of these before. Is this going to knock me on my ass? Let it ride, brother. Let okay. it ride. Anyways... I'm doing mango. What are you doing? Uh, a apple ice, I think. I oh, that sounds nice. It but... is nice. So, so the breaker... So, okay. Uh, so, folks, whether you use nicotine to focus better... Get a boost in energy or to chill and relax. Lucy is made for your nicotine routine. If you want to try Lucy's tobacco-free breakers, pouches, or gums, go to lucy.co.tafs and use promo code TAFS to get 20% off your first order. That's a f Have we ever offered 20? I know, 20 is a lot. 20 is a lot. Yeah, I can already feel a little buzz off that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, That brother. is good. It tastes good, too. I feel like I'm ready to play some minor league baseball. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, Lucy offers free shipping and has 30-day refund policy. If you change your mind, that's L-U-C-Y dot C-O. And use the code T-A-F-S to get 20% off and always free shipping. 
And here comes the fine print. Lucy, products are only for adults of legal age. And every... Which uh, one do you have? You have the ice? I have a <coughs> mango. Can I hit see the mango? Oh, you got the breakers. So what's the difference between the breakers and... Um, it's a pouch. This one's a pouch, too. I don't get it, man. Let's see. Let's combine. Let's... No, I don't I wouldn't do two, brother. I'm not going to do two. I don't know if you're strong enough for yeah, that. Yeah, breakers. And then... What do those look like? I think they look... Lucy the products are only for uh, adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. That means that... Kids at home listening to this show, you can't do this. You can't do this crap until you're 18. The war. Uh, here's our warning. Uh, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. That's the same, right? What? That's the Lucy branded one. I don't understand what breakers. What's the difference between breakers? Let's look it up. Let's go to Lucy. Okay, yeah, let's look it up. You keep talking while I look it up. <laughs> Been a little under the weather. Um. Whoa. Keep talking. Are you feeling anything? What are you feeling right now? No, I took it out just in case it fucked me up while I'm trying to read. <laughs> um, each breaker's pouch. All right. All yeah, right. what are in the breakers? Maybe check that out. I'm going to keep mine in, but it is making me a little bit crazy right now. Um, each breaker's pouch. Breakers are packed with pure nicotine flavor, but there's an extra surprise. Oh, so each breaker's pouch contains a little jewel-like capsule that can be broken open to release a flood of extra flavor. So they're like, uh, you remember like Camel Crushes? So I should chew it? Yeah, chew it and see if you get extra flavor. What if it all goes in my mouth? Yeah, so I guess Lucy is the only company that has these. And then the... Oh, I'm getting flavors. Yeah, you getting flavors? Oh yeah, this is strong. Yeah, sorry, I selected. They do like a pre-screening before they send it, and I picked the strongest option. Why did you get this? Because it's the most. <coughs> Come on, don't. We're... <coughs> you didn't use the cap part. That was yeah. some great stuff. Yeah, so the breakers are, they got an extra, you bite them. So you them. bite them and it's a, it's a load. And you of, get a rush of flavor. Yeah. That was, I would say, that was exhilarating. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and they got a lot of fun flavors here. We got mango. We got more mango. We got, what is this, just mint? Uh, mint. Mint. And then these are the regular ones. That's mint. And then they sent us apple ice. That was the one that I had. Um, yeah. What, what did that taste like? It's like apple and ice. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so I didn't see any gum in here, but I would like to try the gum because um, they also offer gum if you like nicotine gum. Now, uh, what, I, what I use nicotine for is to not, uh, mm -hmm. like, compulsively eat or, um, you know, to focus on what I'm doing. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because if I'm, like, working... I'll get a little bit done, and I'm like, oh, I need to go eat an entire box of Nabisco. And then you're like, no, things. you want your baba. Yeah, just right. I'll just put, pop the Lucy in, and, and hey, guess who's still working? Yeah. Um, if you want to try Lucy's tobacco-free breakers, pouches, or gum, go to lucy.co. Lucy.co slash TAFS, and use promo code TAFS to get 20% off your first order. Um and here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. Yeah, right. Warning, this product contains <laughs> nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. And just bear in mind, Adam is coughing because he's sick. Because I'm sick, not because of the Lucy. Yeah. And, in um, fact, it made his, well, it didn't make, make his cough better. We can't say that. We but. can't say that, but um, I'm thinking something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I really enjoy the flavor a lot. I, I yeah, the flavors are great. Yeah, it's like going out to dinner with your whole f with yeah. dead relatives you haven't seen. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just have like a whole like a, imagine a rotisserie chicken? I feel like I'm at Red just Lobster get, yeah. with all of my dead aunts. All of my I had twelve lesbian yeah. aunts that all uh, 
Unfortunately, they went on a, a group cruise and drowned in their collective menstrual fluid. They did. Fluid. Yeah. When was this? They were all sharing a kiddie pool, and it just it, it was that time of the month. Really? Yeah. So I feel like I'm with them, and they're all here again. That's like dinner with them. How old were you? Um, it was it was about three and a half weeks ago. And you were supposed to be on that cruise. I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God damn it! I remember you were telling me you had to get some. You I had told you. Cruise. I can't do the show. I'm going on a lesbian <laughs> cruise. And <laughs> I can't. I won't be here. I have a lesbian cruise. I, guess. I remember The taste that. is amazing. The flavors are outstanding. Correct. Um, I really do like this apple mint. Um, they don't leave my mouth dry. Yes. And that is long-lasting flavor. And the accessories, I can't get over these amazing. Dude, honestly, yeah, real talk. That this is a, this is an amazing crew neck. The embroidery, I love it, and I love the font. Yeah, yeah. that's like an impact. That is a bold. Let's font. see if they sell the clothes on their website. Yeah, but you're going to get a lot of the clothes let's, from this tobacco from this tobacco-free nicotine product website. Let's rethink this. Let's just say there's a clothing company called Lucy that yeah, also yeah. sells. Uh, and if for fans of uh, nicotine products, yeah, guess go what? check out Lucy.co/tafs. When, when you're at when you're at on the Lucy website. <laughs> Buying probably the finest crew neck I've ever seen. Wow. Um, Check that out for an endorsement, huh? Oh, damn. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, folks. This gear is is team only. Oh. Uh, but I'm sure if you order enough. Yeah, order enough and see if they'll send you. Yeah, go to Lucy.com. Order, put an order in. If, you, if you're a pouch head, if you're a nicotine fan... Get some pouches. I'd say place an order Lucy. for... Lucy.co. You're going to want to place an order. Let's say, you know, plan for a year. So get a yes. year's supply. Spend $1,000. With all this, it, like, uh, craziness in the world. You're going to need a lot of nicotine. You're gonna want, and you're going to want to stock up, folks. So go go to the website. I'd say place an order for $1,000. I then, don't even see 8 milligrams on their website. Uh, contact. <laughs> Did you get more? You got stronger than they even sell? I don't know. I mean, I have them. But, so, yeah. So the I think they had a 12 option, too. It says 2, 4, and 6. Well, we got 8. <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, yeah, place an order for $1,000 or more and then call customer service and say, look, I just placed one of the most amazing orders you've ever seen. Yeah. May I please have a crew neck? Yeah. 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 And then it's worth it. Yeah. And tell them I want to be, I'm signing up for the Lucy Army. The Lucy Army. Yeah. A lot, of folks, a lot of folks with all this instability, they're thinking about signing up for the... Yeah. To the military. You know where they should sell these is in bodegas. Yeah, they should. Because then, you know, you get guys going in being like, hey, you got a Lucy? And they say, yes, we do. And then they get, uh -huh. he's like, oh, I wanted one. I wanted one a single Newport. Newport 100. 100, yeah. And then, well, I guess I'll try this. And then, then, they're, yeah. then, they're, then they got these guys instead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, smart. Brilliant. So, yeah, at lucy.co slash TAFS. Check it out. 20% off. 20% off with our promo code TAFS. That is a f hell of a deal. Hell of and you're going to be you're going to be getting buzzed for and feeling focused and relaxed. That's what I like. Is feeling yet relaxed yet focused. That doesn't happen to me very often, you know? No, and thank you to Lucy for sending me this 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 uh packing label with Lyndon Johnson. Lyndon Johnson. Oh. Yeah, that is phenomenal. Mm, Lyndon Johnson, big <laughs> nicotine fan. Yes. Yeah, what did, What was his uh, meth delivery method of choice? He would he would smoke. Smoke cigs. Yeah, he'd smoke cigs. And what were his cigarettes? Say like he would he would take it down and then just like suck the entire thing in. Just one. Yeah, hit it. Just one pull. One pull. And he's like, "We're gonna bomb them little Chinese spellers." Yeah. And he did. <laughs> yeah. Black people equal rights. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. We're doing civil rights. Yeah. And we're bombing the little Chinese fella. <laughs> you got to give and you got to take it. Yeah. So this Antichrist thing, I guess. Okay, yeah. we, I guess we can get back to this. <laughs> no, because I want, I want to know more. You know, yeah. What is the Antichrist? 
Uh, I'd be interested also to like um, to know what popular yeah. so public it's, figures it's have a, been accused a, of being the Antichrist. A personal opponent of Christ expected to appear before the end of the world. Okay. So it's just a guy Jesus doesn't like. What if you're Jesus and I'm the Antichrist? What if we just didn't know? Well, I'm definitely not Jesus. Why not? I don't know. I think I'm going to be one of the people, if the rapture does happen, where they just get, you know, like how dogs or cats are allowed into heaven. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be, I won't be judged. I think they'll see me as, like, a mentally deficient. So where do you get to go to? To the kennels? Just a room filled with, like, dogs and cats. There's, like, PS5 in there and stuff. Really? Yeah. And it just looks like like a just a nondescript government building. Mm-hmm. And then, but you got dogs crapping everywhere and stuff. Yeah. And dog fighting. Yeah. And then a, a table filled with guys playing Magic the Gathering. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's one of the circles of hell. <laughs> but it's like not bad. It's chill. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to see if people who have been accused the of being the Antichrist. The ethnicity of the Antichrist. Here we go. Okay. A widely held belief throughout the history of the church has been the notion that the Antichrist will be of Jewish origin. Okay, let's hear it. Um, so it will be a Jew? In fact, the Bible teaches just the opposite, that the Antichrist will be of Gentile descent. Okay. Thank you. It's not me. Yeah. Leaving only one other option. Zach Efron. You know, it's you. Maybe I'm Jesus. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I just want to know what they like look like. Will it be a, like a Gundam? I don't imagine that it would just be like a like a like a palette swap of Jesus. I imagine. I'm imagining like a Gundam. A Gundam with a little guy in it, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm imagining more of like kind of like a Mad Max Fury Road, like kind a of like metal. Like the monsters of... from Power Rangers. Oh, like the putties. No, or like no, Rita no. Repulsa. No, like the monster. Remember how Rita sends a monster? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh okay, yeah. That that checks out. I think that, that I would see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they then really, Jesus. They really would... should just build that temple. We're all waiting. I don't think they're... That's some crap that they like to say about this stuff, is that it's been 5,000 years of fighting. No, it's not. You know, prove it. The third temple, let's see. What? Prove oh. what? No, I mean, it's just like, well, no, they're using this to, to say, oh, they're let the boys fight. It's been 5,000 years of this. No, this is a horrible thing that's happening right now. Yeah, and like modern day Zionism hap started in like the late 18th or 19th century. What started then? Like the Zionist movement. Uh huh. Yeah. So there, it has been happening for 5,000 years. It's just years. a building, though. Just make it. I know you're, you keep talking about this building. I'm going to make it in Minecraft. Really? Yeah. How do you do? How do? What? How does Minecraft really work? It's Legos. You I just guess. get Legos and you do it on a computer. Yeah, it's computer Legos. Yeah. And you can't like uh, your friends can like play with you in your Lego house. The Sassanid Empire. Well, I don't know. Oh, I'm a Sassanid. <laughs> <laughs> you best not come around with them clothes on, cause I'm a Sassanid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm eat your shit. Yeah. What is it? The Sassanid Empire drove out, drove out the Byzantine Empire out of the Middle East, giving the Jews control of Jerusalem for the first time in centuries. This was when they built the second temple, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. The Sassanids did that for the Jews? I don't know. I'm having trouble reading and speaking lately. Dude, I. I keep stumbling over my words. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? Is there like a medical reason for it? I don't know. Maybe I'm having strokes. Or Head something. hit, mini strokes. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean, mini strokes? Like, like. Mm. you just don't have the big one? And you yeah. like come? Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, what does what does it say though? Okay. What does the Second Temple have to look like? All right. The, although in mainstream Orthodox Judaism, the rebuilding of the Temple is generally left to the coming of well, the, the Jewish yeah. Yeah, and to divine providence, a number of organizations, generally representing a small minority of Orthodox Jews, have been formed with the objective of realizing the immediate construction of a Third Temple in present times. Oh. Dude, I'm just going to go there and say I'm the Messiah. How will they know that you're not? I'm like, I'm the Messiah. Just build the temple. Yeah. We got to get David Blaine to do it. He could trick, I think. Easily. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Send yeah. David Blaine. We'll get plastic surgery for David Blaine to make him look like a Gundam. And he then we'll could really <laughs> look how he looks right now. We'll get David Blaine a Gundam and have him go do, like, lean over and do card tricks <laughs> for the Orthodox Jews in the Gundam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he's done them, <laughs> and then he's like, "Now build the temple." Build the temple. Yeah. Now build the temple. Yeah. It says in the Torah, "You got to do this." Yeah. For you got to build the temple. Yes. Build it deep. Where are the cows at? You got the red cows. I need five hundred. We need five hundred of them. Yeah. All right. You know which cow is yours? All right. Look again. Now it's your wife's pussy. Was that your cow? Yeah. No, that's your wife's pussy. Yeah. Now look inside. It's a cow. Now look inside the cow. It's your wife's pussy. <sighs> yeah, man. I just I've been sick the last forty eight hours and I feel I just keep waking up and then just seeing horrific pictures from this and then going back to sleep. Mm. And I was bleeding into my fever dreams. And go on, talk about that. I'm seeing if there's anything. I had a dream that my mom had Twitter. Yeah. And then I woke up and I remembered that she'd passed away. Did she have Twitter or well? No, she didn't have Twitter. But she was being really funny on it. What did she say? She was tweeting about, I don't know. I forgot what the tweets were. But I remember that in the dream I texted my sister. I was like, Mom's being it's so funny on Twitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I just had that dream while I was sleeping on that chair in there. Right over there. It's kind of sweet, honestly. Guys, we got to end this war. We got to end all wars. That's our, I mean, Nick and I have been in the war room. We've been thinking this thing through. And this it's, is cool, though. I mean, I kind of just want to read the Bible. Really? It's not that good. It's uh, Most of it sucks. It sucks. Yeah. Dude, my bar mitzvah it's, tour. It, the, Bible re the Bible reads like a five-year-old lying to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, and oh, then, and then me and all my friends, we went across the desert, but then my girlfriend, I have a girlfriend, by the way, she, like, she, like, they said we can't go back, but she turned around, and then she turned into a statue, and, and, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just, just and then we went, um, we were, we went, I went up the mountain, and I was talking to God, but, and then when everyone was down there, they took all the gold, and they melted it, and they made it into a cow, Yeah. and then, and then everyone was having a dance, with the cow and then God got pissed and then God God smite them mm -hmm. yeah it really does sound like a like a it like would some make baby sense shit. If, if yeah if the end times were happening I mean I, especially post Epstein so it proves all these world elites are just pedophiles <laughs> and then if you know I mean the temple and didn't they find the Moloch on his island what 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 is Moloch? I don't like know the, what any of this crap is. Canaanite god that's a cow. Cow statue. Epstein. Oh, he had a golden calf? Yeah. Oh, uh, where? In the in the like uh that temple? I mean he did have like a gold dome temple. Yeah. Oh my god, Nick. I don't like this talk. This is scary. Say something else while I Google this. Now I'm thinking about scary. It's scary. Come on, man. You got it. All right, so. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't know. It's just like. 
<sighs> Dude, I hate being sick. It freaking sucks. <coughs> what does it say? They found Moloch on his I'm, island or I'm not? I'm trying to find it. But if you're gonna if you're just if you're if you've I'm not gonna do if I'm you've sorry. decided to just belly ache. I'm not belly aching, I just feel you're like belly crap. aching. I came into the studio today to do the show. And I just remembered when I told you that I <laughs> that when I was sick that one time I felt like I was high. <laughs> I don't remember that. When you're making yourself laugh over... I felt like I was tripping. <laughs> your own things you said? No. Yourself I, laughing? Was, I'm laughing at something that you said. Yourself laughing. No, I said that when I was sick. I felt like I was tripping. <laughs> what? I think that was, it was something like that. And then you like made fun of me for... What are your go-to sources for uh, seeing uh, war porn? Well, I go both sides. What do you? What does that mean, though? Uh, memory TV. What? The f memory TV. That's the one where it's the shakes that are like, they're like, doing the finger thing. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, and it's just like they have full ISIS guys. It's called memory TV. M E M R I, and then Ben Shapiro. That's yeah. That. Yeah. Ben, it's Ben Shapiro losing his mind right now. Um. There's kind of seems to be a. This is what happens when you let girls say stuff. <laughs> Girls, They're, girls did this. Yeah, they said that it was girls um, that were over five foot five. Mm -hmm. um, the Barbie movie is the reason that Hamas attacked. Ben Shapiro is mad at Tucker right now. Why? Because Tucker said that we have a fentanyl crisis, so we have something coming to the country that's killing millions of Americans. And and Ben's like, what? And he's like, no, we don't. Nah, but but you're concerned about a thousand Israelis. Uh huh. You know? Tucker said that to him. Tucker said that, and he was watching a clip of it, and then Ben started shaking. Ooh. Yeah, he got really mad. Good. Um. Yeah, there's like a division right now in the right between like. Well, that's yeah, because during the Trump era, all of those like, because uh, you know Trump's platform was he was like kind of like an isolationist, kind of a big tent kind of so guy. All those America First guys, they don't, um, they don't f Israel at all. Well, Andrew Tate's also like I think he converted to Islam too. Mm -hmm. So there's like a real like the the right is kind of breaking apart in all these guys. Yeah. And then you have kind of like neocon Ben Shapiro type of guys. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's and all then, those 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 uh, right wing populists. They all they're like oh this is good. All the those people are killing each other. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then. Um, yeah, and then people said, um, now Ben Shapiro is like releasing pictures um, because people like are saying there's no that there wasn't any evidence of the child beheadings. Mm -hmm. So Ben Shapiro is getting mad, and now he just released a picture of like I think it's two babies that are just having sex. <laughs> no, they're just on <laughs> fire. They'd been He's just posting child that, that that had been lit on fire, and they look charred beyond recognition mm -hmm. and it's just texas like, style babies yeah and it's uh yeah just everyone's talking about babies right now mm -hmm. and then you just it's crazy because babies don't even care yeah babies if we're up to the babies you think this would this is bad yeah <laughs> the babies would be doing some worse yeah they'd be watching you know, and then you obviously see like the bombings in Gaza, and you see the baby that's covered in ash that's crying. You know, like all those pictures. And well, if you want to watch something else, there's you always can watch the NFL. there's always sports. Yeah, there's always the NFL. Here you go. You can take that. Oh my god. People are going crazy online right now about at the NFL at about the bookie. NFL about the NFL at mybookie.ag. All right, so. Guys, happy Friday and Thanksgiving to our partners and friends and family who were celebrating up in Canada this weekend. Oh, yeah, it's Canadian Thanksgiving. Wait, is this us? Yeah. No, this is the email. Do I read the email copy? Read the email copy. Okay. Unless it says do not read. Okay. Nick, this is your boyfriend. 
No, it's not. Yes. The, wait, it didn't say do not read. It's Nick. not my boyfriend. Nick, this is Nick. This is your boyfriend. Mm-hmm. I'm a nerd too. <laughs> I know you're embarrassed that your bur- boyfriend is a nerd. All right, guys. Um, the purpose of this email is to provide the most up to copy. Okay. Okay. No, no. I read this. Okay. When your money's on the line, choose a trusted sports book that gives you the tools to win like my bookie. At my bookie, it doesn't matter if your team is up or down. You can easily cash out or bet the game live to come out on the winning side. Use my bookie for daily odds boosts, same game parlays, and take advantage of huge prize pool contests. You're having trouble reading also. I am, dude. I'm I can't. I love yeah, I think you know what it is. I think we're in the phase of COVID now, where it doesn't make you sick; it just gives you brain damage. Think so? Yeah. I mean, you're like long term. Yeah, I think I'm just getting brain damage every time. I, I think I'm just sick right now. I don't have COVID. I took a test. Um, yeah, the new one doesn't come up on tests. Really? Yeah, especially if you're gay. Check. Mate, who has a boyfriend now? This is Nick's boyfriend, and I'm a nerd. Dude, I can't believe your boyfriend's a nerd, Nick. All right, so um, use my bookie for daily odds, boost same game parlays, and take advantage of a huge prize pool contest. This is th- those are hard words to say. Try this sentence. I know you just heard me say it. I didn't Try this. I, I plus. Didn't to you. After plus. Plus, my bookie has a no strings attached cash bonus that lets you deposit and withdraw. No, no, no. Before that. Be- before plus. No. Oh. Use my bookie for daily odds boost, same ga- game parlays. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. Same game parlays and take advantage of huge prize pool contest. That's Speaking hard. Speaking is hard. That's hard, dude. Yeah, but I've been having trouble, like, even around my apartment, I'm like, oh, I need a fork from the drawer. But I'll be like, oh, I need a drawer fork. I've been doing that kind of stuff, too. I need a board. Yeah. yeah. Jit board. I just forget the words. Yeah. I, I'm like a picker. Sometimes I can't I tell. Say, I call it, I, I'm like, do I have like a severe neurological problem, or am I just a moron that is now 35? Mm-hmm. And now my body's shutting down. Like, how bad is it going to be when I'm 80? Like, you know, it's like... Like, you know, making fun of Joe Biden for being old. If I was 80 years old, I'd be like... He's the smartest 80-year-old in the entire world. I, I, He's a genius. I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm dumber s- than he is right now. Scared all the time. Yeah. My bookie, campaign start date. No, I don't remember that part. It's hard. You this go. is a hard one. Yeah. Guys, this is like this is like 11th grade reading NFL level. is back, and it will not be affected by the war. Yeah, that's a good thing about them fighting over there. And that's what these America First guys are saying, is that the NFL season is not uh, under threat. Plus, my book has no strings attached cash bonus that lets you deposit and withdraw quick. Use promo code TAFS on your first deposit and receive up to 200 in cash. That's promo code TAFS to claim your own cash bonus now. T-A-F-S, folks. Try my bookie money bag to grab... Try the my book, <laughs> dude. Reading is impossible right now. Mm-hmm. I'm sick. I at least have a. I keep falling asleep. This is the longest I've been awake in t- three days. Yeah. Try the my bookie money bag to grab a potential Super Bowl front runner at long shot odds. What does that sentence mean? I know we appreciate them for their supporting the show. Try the my bookie money back to grab a potential Super Bowl front runner at long shot odds. Oh, so to grab, to grab a team that's like gonna be in the Super Bowl probably, but you get it at a higher odds. Yeah. What? Okay. Uh, plus thirty eight hundreds on the Eagles and the Chiefs. You won't find odds like that anywhere else. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere, only with my bookie. All right. Damn, you know what my bookie, what I, I Dude, bet. Dude, this is a I, hard company. I bet I will go get some barbecue later at mybookie.ag. I bet that, um, I bet that I'm going to read this better next yeah. time. 
I can't wait to read more about the Sassanids. <laughs> the, wait, what's the Sassanids all about? I, I don't know. The Sassanid Empire. <laughs> Some said that. Assassin needs you to sit down and yeah, listen. You better not. Ooh. <laughs> Sassanid. <laughs> <laughs> They're just getting the, the bluest coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. Is there a gas leak in the studio? I don't think there's gas hook up in here. I think it's just... I, I You've been sleeping all day. I've been... I finally finished... Nick finally finished uh, stringing the Cat 6 cable now into the, into the go, control room. Get, get rid of all this SDI trape stall over the... All over the goddamn studio. We're going to have a much cleaner setup. It'll be a cleaner setup. Much cleaner setup. And then we can bump the stage forward four feet. We got to get, I got to figure out, I'm pretty sure I can fix this light. And then we will be ready to actually start the show. Yeah, I fixed the that. The real Adam Friedland show. The lens, remember I told you one of the lens was broken? I fixed that yesterday. Why do you use a straw? I hate that. Because you can get way more water. Just use your... You have no. lips. I could do a drinking contest against you the same. Right, ready? Go. Done. Done. Finished. Yeah. <laughs> After. After. Well, you, had, you had probably not a lot of water yeah. at all. I've, that was an entire full... You <laughs> Good. That's what you get. <laughs> Ever challenge me. All right. So, did we say promo code T A A F? Yeah. You at my bookie. All right, folks. We also have. <sighs> oh yeah. Guys, finally, man. these are nice. The shirts came out better than I thought. And you know what? The the mugs all black. I think that's. It's a slick look, guys. Yeah. Guys, this, this is a slick look. We got, um, we have three items just in time. <laughs> well, I'll tell you later on. Just in time for what? For all this, for all this craziness in the world. We have uh, Adam Friedland Show mugs. And we got Adam Friedland Show branded Yeti coolers coming. And we have through. Adam Friedland Show t-shirts. Look at this. Unbelievable. Show camera two. Show camera two. All right, so these are going to be dropping pretty soon. We have a third surprise, beautiful bonus uh, item. Uh, Adam Friedland show yarmulkes. Look how, look how cool these tally lights are. Isn't that much better than it was before? Yeah. It great. says the number on there. It says the number. They're big. Yeah. Previously, it was a little light on the top corner. Um, the yarmulkes came out beautifully. They're the same uh, manufacturer that made Donald, the Donald Trump Make America Great Again yarmulkes. We found him in South Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. um, he was great to deal with. I can tell you that. He was, fan <laughs> <laughs> was fantastic. Actually, they came out amazing. Actually, they were some of the most beautiful yarmulkes I've ever seen. What's the deal with them? They're like all the like w w the Hasids <laughs> are like pro Palestine. No, there's this they're one like sect. Pro Hamas. There's one sect that's pro Hamas. <laughs> that's just I love like they're just like committed. lighting the Israeli flag. But then they're you look at to it, being, it, they're committed to being as annoying as possible. But if you look at why, it's because like women like uh, can wear pants in Israel or uh -huh. like drive cars or something. Or read or like <laughs> <laughs> it's not for it's not for like the human rights violations in Gaza. It's uh Yeah. It's because they well, I think it's all, all I think it's because of the temple too, actually. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I think that they think that there shouldn't there can't be a state of Israel or there a Jewish state or Jewish country until the the Messiah comes and they build this this the third temple. They gotta build that temple, dude. <laughs> They gotta build that temple. Those guys will chill out. The evangelicals will chill out. Just build. I think the, the Israelis and the Palestinians will still be pretty Look, pissed. It's win-win. Either you build the temple and it's the end times, right? And <laughs> I go to hell. Whatever. That would suck. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Um, more likely, you build the temple and nothing happens. <laughs> yes. And then we can put all of this to rest. <laughs> We can, no, we don't <laughs> fellas, have. Fellas, 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 calm down. We don't have to do this anymore. Yeah. 
how many times are they going to do this? They just keep doing it over and over again. Yeah. Well, then it would take it would take at least another hundred years to reboot the like. Oh, oh, but this time. But this time, for this real. time, the end times are coming. But a hundred years—that's peace and quiet the rest of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Then we don't have to hear about this crap. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, that would be nice. I mean, you're kind of convincing me. They got to build a third temple. We have to. We have to just try. Yeah. What? But who builds it? You got a contract? Italian. Yeah. Italian. Contract. Yeah. But come on, you know about that. What the materials costs go up, spike. You're like, oh, why is where's this hole in the budget? You know? What are you talking about? You hire Italian contractors. That's fine. Okay, so like, who's paying? What us? The show? No, we're not paying for it. Who the evangelicals? I don't know taxes. I want it to be class. I, I look. I want health care. For all the money I pay in taxes, I think everybody should have health care, right? Yeah, yeah. Second to that. The third temple being built in Jerusalem. Oh, the United States federal government. Uh, yeah. I think Instead so. of a wall, we should build the third temple. That'd be so sick. Mm -hmm. That'd be sick. And if we made it look like D.C. Yeah. Yeah. Greek columns. Mm -hmm. We'd Which make it look I, nice. I, 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 when, anytime I've said the third temple, in my mind, what I've been imagining is New York, New York, and Las Vegas. Yeah. So sick. Yeah, yeah. The tiny with the roller with the roller coaster. Yeah, going through it. I I've ridden that roller coaster mad times. There should be a casino called the Third Temple. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Has anyone mocked up what the Third Temple would look like? I from what I've read is uh, no. I don't think so. I'm sure there's some guys. Okay, yes, yeah, there's some. Do they there. have any pieces of thirdtemple.org? The... Here's a website. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a Jewish website. You can trust it. So there's a team of architects responsible for the preparation of the plans for the third temple. So they're already on this, Nick. Mm -hmm. Okay, they honor the prophecy of Ezekiel based on the comments of Rashi, along with the those of Vilna Gaon, uh, Malbim. Uh, you know, I'm a I'm a descendant of him. Of who? The Vilna Gaon. He's a great rabbi. I'm pretty sure I'm a descendant. Or we're just from the same town. Yeah, that's not what a descendant is. Well, I think we were descendants of him. I think we were. That being from the same town is not a descendant. Well, we were from Vilnius, for sure. So? But I think we're also... That's just a town. It's actually a city. I'm pretty sure I'm... I am a descendant. Of, the, of this great man. Anyway, each of whom have clarified in their book uh, and made accessible verses uh, 40 through 47. Yeah, no, no, no. Look at this thing. This thing, f Nick, this thing is beautiful. It's actually not that nice. <laughs> what, the temple? Wait, is this like some company that's gonna, that's asking for money? Is this just a scam website? Yeah, I hope so. Okay. If we if we want to build, we can build the third temple today. Wait, Nick, this is you found this is the website. You gotta get with these guys. Yeah. Okay. So these guys already have the plans. Uh -huh. They got architects. They already read the books. They know what it needs to look like. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to build the third temple. Here's a link. I'm gonna click it, okay? All right. And next, um, okay, so let's, so we have to put it in your name, in your phone number, in your date of birth. Mm -hmm. Nick? Hold on, listen, these, these Irish people think the Ark of the Covenant is in Ireland somewhere? Who? I, uh, the British Israel Association. <clears throat> okay, uh... What? Okay, so we're going to say Mr. Nick. You want to go, go by Nick or Nicholas? Uh, put my name down as uh, Leon Cream. Leon? Leon Cream, please. Leon Cream, okay. Yeah. And United States, and the city is, what city? New York, New York? Wait, the, the Jewish calendar has Nissan month? No way. Oh, yeah, Nissan. Yeah, that's a month. 
It's like truck month is just in the religion. Well, That's cool. I know. Maybe we got a couple things right. Yeah. Um, I want a guided tour of the third temple. Okay, so that so this is where they're gonna build it. So basically, all that stands in their way is they have to destroy the dome of the rock. That has to be destroyed. You know what happened on that site, Nick? What? Who? Of the dome of the rock? Um, SmackDown Raw. No. Oh. So the rock is where the Prophet Muhammad mm -hmm. flew up to heaven on his horse. Off that rock. On Dwayne Johnson? Not on Dwayne Johnson. There's just a rock in there. I they thought said that like that's a, where he went up. Just a giant statue of Dwayne Johnson's head. No, it no, has nothing to do with the rock. Also, it's where... Um, I thought it was, there was a statue of Dwayne Johnson getting his dick sucked on... He's not Muslim, dude. It's not Dome of the Rock? That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Muslims won't let you destroy that. <laughs> Only Muslims are allowed to pray to that statue. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Feels really good. <laughs> I'm up here. I'm up here on the mountain getting my <laughs> sucked. It's a beautiful day out here getting my cock sucked. Oh, it's not the dome of the rock. It's not him giving giving head. Yeah, no, it's to him getting domed. No, but it's not him doming people out. They don't get you. Don't get domed. You get your dick sucked. You don't get the it. dome of the rock. Uh huh. Or you get your dick sucked. So like, in the manner that he would like to get that he likes getting his dick sucked. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, now we're gonna get in trouble, dude. We're making fun of religions and stuff. We're not making fun. We're just trying to understand. I'm okay. never making fun of anything. I'm just trying to understand. <laughs> and now I can barely speak because people have been mean to me instead of letting me explore the world with and world religions. You know, with whimsy and yeah. and luster. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Nick, you don't see him, but when he's just, on the street, he skips. I do. He skips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he, he typically has a giant lollipop he carries around. Yeah, and I have I have makeup on, and I dress like a little sailor. Yeah. Dude, hopscotch is like the game in the entire world. Why? It's I'm really I'm actually really good at it. There, there's you just jump, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, You're talking about the thing well, that's like hard. jump, 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 yeah. jump, jump, jump. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really good at that. It's not hard, and it gets pretty boring after you do it, like, three times. Yeah. Yeah. But then the game is that you put a rock on one of the pieces, well, and then you can't use it. It was invented in ancient Rome. Hopscotch? Mm-hmm. Really? In Iran, the game is called Lele. <laughs> do you want to play Lele? Yeah. Everything is, everything is just ancient. Yeah. Not what about Foursquare? Not podcasting. Who invented Foursquare? Connect Four. Who invented Wall Wall? What's Wall Wall? You know that game where you have you have to hit it. A again? Wall Ball. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, like a Chinese cool Chinese guys. <laughs> They're real. They love that. They game. love handball. They lo they do be loving that game. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's kind of a game you don't really need much to play. The equipment costs are really low. You need what? Just a racquetball, correct? Mm-hmm. Anyway. What else is going on with you? I don't know. I've been sick in bed for three Are days. Are you worried about this? Uh, about the war? No, this terrorist attack on Friday. Yeah. I'm worried about Hamas. New York Hamas <laughs> attack <laughs> plan. <laughs> Yeah, city boosts safety and security amid Israel Hamas war. New York does. Yeah. Eric Adams. What did he say? Let's hear let's hear him out. All right, well let me play the video without signing in. 
I hate that. Since hundreds of Israelis were shot or kidnapped by Hamas terrorists over the weekend, the NYPD has increased patrols and surveillance around synagogues and mosques. Officials say there have been no threats, but they remain alert. Oh, what you got going on? I'm looking at what the Third Temple could look like. There are multiple organizations that say that they will be building the Third Temple. There are, are they multiple all websites. This one's now, this one's called the Okay, so here it is. The goal of the Mitzvah product project. This is a different completely different website I found. Is to help build the third temple on the Mount Moriah in Jerusalem. They're collecting money in order to search the tunnels under the Temple Mount in order to find the Golden Ark and uh, other important artifacts. Okay. Yeah. What's the best hotel in Vegas? What? What's the nicest hotel? Um, the Wynn is nice. No, I mean like the one like if I'm like James Bond and I'm going to Vegas, where am I staying? Maybe the wind. The wind? Yeah. Encore at the wind? That's nice. That's what about nice. the Venetian? The Venetian's nice. When the time comes, they plan to assist What's in preparing the, the ashes the of the Venetian, red heifer. The Venetian and the Bellagio. What? What's the difference between the Venetian and the Bellagio? Well, one's Italy and one's Venice. Isn't Venice in Italy? That's a good point. I think Bellagio is supposed to be Lake Como. And Venetian is supposed to be Lake Venice. Homo? Co Como? George Clooney lives there at Lake Homo. Oh. <laughs> you know, over George Clooney's place, over at Lake Homo. I thought he was married to an Indian lady, though. He's married to a lawyer. Yeah, an Indian lawyer. Gamal. Yeah. Gamal Abdul Nasser. Um... There are so many websites that are asking for money to build the third temple. Yeah. If we could just have our own website. I'm going to start a website to build it. <laughs> Dude, this is, this is, it's, it's, I, I, you had a good line of thinking on this. Oh, yeah. Because it's led me to this new level of scam that we could be pulling. I, I can't think about anything other than just building that temple. It needs yeah. to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It has to happen. It has to. Folks, if you guys, if any of you guys are general contractors. <laughs> yeah, we need good guys, all yeah. right? Because, you know, dealing with contractors can be a nightmare sometimes. So we can send Delays. You. The budget getting just blown up. Update on the building of the third temple. Okay, where are we getting this? Oh, it does look kind of cool. It looks sort of like Osama bin Laden's house in Pakistan. In, in Abbottabad? Mm hmm Or Jalalabad? In Abbottabad. Abbottabad. Abbottabad, yeah. Abbottabad. Yeah. Where is Jalalabad? That was in Afghanistan. Yeah. Yeah. Jalil... Jake... Jake... Jamiroquai. Jamiroquai. Jake Jalilinhal. Jalalabad. Jake Jalilinbad. Okay, well... Wait, so we need the Ark of the Covenant. We need this... Uh, we need a seven-pronged menorah. They've already made that. They made that. They made the big golden menorah. The big golden... Who made that? Or one of these groups that's breeding cows. <laughs> one of the cowboys? Yeah, yeah the cowboys. They're ready with the menorah. Yeah. Okay, so what else do we need? We need a Torah. Mm -hmm. That would be a good fun location for a Western. In Israel? Yeah, but it's just like <laughs> those guys. But you just give them like just you just cock the hats to the side and put them on a horse. Oh, chasses. Yeah. yeah. And we're fighting these cattle ranchers trying to steal our red cows. How? What do the red cows look like? They look good. They look like regular cows, but they're red. Really? Yeah. How'd they get it that way? A little baby belt. It's the type of cow that they breed in Texas, a red Angus. A red Angus. Yeah. And the Texas boys got them out there. That's really nice of them. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. That looks kind of brown to me a little bit. Doesn't look really red. I was thinking bright red. <sighs> <sighs>
I am struggling, dude. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we can end the episode. You can go back to sleep. We don't have to end it. No, we're all right. We can build it. Well, how, how long have we done? How long have we done today? Ask Ginsburg. I don't know. How many minutes, Ginsburg? Probably like an hour and 20. Ginsburg, could you just clean it up and make your leg sound like a little bit? Okay, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, she... next time we talk to you, I won't be sick and we'll, we'll have peace. Yeah, I think I'm sick also because I can't speak. Dude, I'm I don't know trouble. what it is. I think, uh, yeah, I'm having trouble speaking. All right, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what it is.